Yo, hey guys, Smallmouth Crush. Here we are. Actually, decided to jump into the uh, what's called the Toyota series, I guess. Uh, used to be the Costas, the MLF out here on the St. Lawrence River. Uh, just I actually signed up two days ago, so I wasn't really expecting. I had a couple days off. I kept the calendars off. I didn't do any trips this week, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, just in case I decided to jump in. So we're going to see what happens today. That's all coming up. All right, so we're down here in Messina. And uh, I had a pretty good week. Um, so really no practice for me as far as like, I never set the hook or anything on any fish myself, but I had trips all week, last week. And uh, it's been it's been pretty good. It's been fishing real well. Uh, the area that I'm planning on going in today has, uh, has a population of fish. Sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. So basically, if they're not there, well, this is about uh, as much video as you're gonna, you're gonna get. Um, and if they are there, we'll have a good time, but it's really uh, hit or miss on that spot Unfortunately, it's a hundred plus mile run to where we're heading really who knows what's gonna happen today We're just gonna try to go have fun. No pressure uh, We're just gonna see if we can capture five big ones real quick and head her back uh, to Messina here I got a long day Which uh, I don't know if I like or don't like I guess we'll see how it goes if I catch them quick uh, then I wish I have a longer day tomorrow, but you know how that goes Right now the weather looks pretty decent. There's a little bit of wind But I, I waited actually to sign up for this event because I wanted to see how the wind was going to develop I don't really care about the speed, but the direction so we have the right direction of wind which is going to help uh, That's really the only reason why uh, I signed up for this if if we had a, a northeast like we had earlier this week we had east wind two three days ago uh, and it really made the areas I'm fishing tough. We we're not allowed to fish Lake Ontario, so we're confined to the St. Lawrence River uh, for this event. And you guys know how much I love the river. Just kidding. But we'll see what happens, and uh, we'll keep the cameras rolling as long as they stay on. You know I have camera issues and audio issues and everything, but uh, I'll do my best for this tournament. Alright guys, so we're heading back, at least get out of this zone. It's 11.40, I gotta be at 3.45, but the wind, and the waves got pretty bad. I only got four good ones, and one little one right now, so we have, we do have some work to do. I lost three fish today, three or four maybe, I never saw them though. But we gotta get
get some fuel. You got one? Yep. Ah, oh, sure, good one. Great. I think it's good. Ready? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's an upgrade, ain't it? All right, guys. Here's an update. So we just uh, we stopped here and played for gas. We don't have a whole lot of time. Uh, we got to be at 3:45. So the wind's kicking up a little bit. I'm gonna try to make a few more stops on our way back down. We got a good bag right now, so we'll see what happens. All right, we made her back just in time. We're going to weigh these fish and uh, see where we end up for day one. All right, we got done with the weigh-in, so 20, just over 25 pounds, and uh, so I'm leading on day one here. Uh, I think there's a few guys left, so who knows, but we got doesn't matter. We got to do it all over tomorrow. We'll see what happens. See you guys in the morning. All right, here we are, day two. Uh, we got a little bit of breeze, which uh, means it's going to be really blowing uh, up top where I'm heading, 90, 100 miles away. But uh, we're gonna have a limited amount of time to fish. It's gonna be like four hours of fishing. It's not gonna be uh, ideal. So anything can happen today. I could come in with shit or a decent bag. Um, I have no clue, but we're gonna head up there and give it our best and, and see what happens. So after having a decent bag on day one, uh, conditions today, I kind of looked at the forecast and we're gonna have a little bit of a uh, north wind in the forecast so it's not too bad right now but i'm going to find out as i get closer to my starting spot that that wind really kicks up and i'm telling you right now uh i fish this area a lot and with that that type of wind that we're going to have it's going to be really hard for me to catch a fish as you'll see i i'm struggling a little bit here on day two You can, kind of already can see how my drift is off. My my bow is not facing into the current. And so I actually lost my, four, my first four bites this morning. This is my first fish I had. And it's nothing great, but I was happy to be able to get some of these fish in the boat today. Any Randy can catch 22 pounds a day, but if you do, you're always in like the top three apparently. What place you in? Second. Second. Brit's in second. Okay, guys, I had a tough day. I don't know what was caught on camera because my camera pole is right here and it shrunk because I broke it. And it's so it like all you're going to see is my fucking short shorts. 
and that's it, and my boots. You didn't throw all your camera gear in the lake today? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, I had a lousy 15 pounds because uh, my excuse is I had only four hours of fish after a two hour run one way, and the northwest wind um, disturbed my drifts. I was not able to make drifts properly. Tomorrow the wind looks more favorable, but like Britt said, I really, I really messed up. And like I also said, any old Randy can catch fucking 22 or 27 pounds on this river. That's right. So it's anybody's game. It Ma takes smallmouth crush to catch 32 though. Wouldn't that be special? I don't. I think I'd freak out. I don't think these medium lights can handle it. What's the biggest bag ever? 32 something. Oh, By here? Great Lakes finesse. Uh, on beds probably. Yeah. So if you catch over 32, you'll have the record bag ever. All right. Likely. And you'll win. Well, it depends on the scale too. I'm not. I'm not saying Douglas rod scales were a little heavy. I'm saying they were, they were a little. Heavy. So. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see what happens tomorrow. I'm gonna to rig up, I guess I'm fishing, make another long run. I think Brett's gonna win again, so this will be your second one in a row. I'm right there, I'm ready for it. You'll probably win. I was born and we'll be happy. We'll be happy. Like we'll be happy for you. And uh, someday- Maybe you can have me back on the live show. Maybe we'll have you back. <laughs> and someday maybe I'll win one of these. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe. maybe. Wouldn't that be interesting? If only JP was here. Yeah. Someday. All JP does is he... I find all the fish and then he rapes them with his clients. The clients <laughs> I give them. The clients I give them. And he doesn't go find anything new. And then he stays at your house. And then he stays at my he house. talks about it. And then when <laughs> I need to catch a fish, I can't go because he's already like... He beat him up. There's, there's, there's jig marks, hooks in all their mouths. So... I can't win with JP. He's only good at motivational speaking. That's it. He's not good at guiding. He's not really that good at fishing because if they're not shallow, he can't catch them. He's hating us right now. <laughs> he tells me he catches them like 50 foot. Oh yeah. JP, we're just kidding. Yeah, we love you, bud. All right. Double deuce, baby. Well, hey, double deuce is what it takes. Double deuce a day, 22 a day to win anything big tournaments here yeah and i'm right there i just need to catch another double deuce tomorrow there you go and i uh need to catch 31 pounds in four hours okay all right guys we'll see you in the morning uh, good morning here we are um looks like it's gonna be good conditions for us today we did we, we made the cut even though we don't deserve to be here now the audio is uh not the greatest here but this is the final day top 25 fish I made the cut somehow. You guys say, huh? Fishing against the king of the St. Lawrence River today. Oh, you. Me. <laughs> uh huh. We're gonna do what we do. Are you feeling good? You got the Beast Coast yeah. open water sniper jigs ready to go? Rigging up, baby. That's how we do it. This is what we do. Well, good luck. You're good for your 22 as always. No matter where we go, it's always 22 <laughs> pounds. Isn't that weird? I catch 22 today. Yeah, I need 32. Come on. You catch 28 pounds, you're gonna win. No. Well, my plan's to head back to uh, where I was on day one and see if I can find some some good fish again. The weather looks like it's gonna hold up for me, although it was a little tougher uh, once I got there just to just to fish. There was a little bit more pressure. Uh, there was a lot of guys fishing for walleyes around me as well. Um, it was there was just a lot of people around me when I got up to that that spot, and I saw multiple five plus fish pounders caught uh, around me. So just have to try to grind it out today, and and hopefully I can get a big bag, but. It's not always easy, as you'll see here. I, I lost a few fish. Nothing that I actually laid eyes on, but uh, it wasn't wasn't the best. But I knew I needed a mega bag. And once time started running out, I kind of reality slipped in, and I realized I might not be able to get the job done today. But we're just going to try our best and see what see how many places we can move back up here and uh, get somewhat of a decent finish.
Yeah, long handled net. Good at that. That one just turned out to be a big walleye. They eat the sniper jig also. Got him. The right one, dude. <laughs> fish. If it was a team event we'd be doing all right but I might have 20 pounds so maybe I moved up a couple places we'll find out. We'll see you at the next one. Travis Manson coming up next on the pro side. Knows probably more about smallmouth bass fishing than anybody else in the field. Proved it on day one and you brought 25 pounds two ounces of bass on day one. Pumped the brakes a tad on day two but still managed 15-4 Championship Saturday, Travis, five more in the bag today. We need another big bag, 21-14 is what we need. Do we have it? No. Not today. I saw one go in the bag. I saw one big one, and here we got one special fish, another solid bag, man. 19 pounds, seven ounces, going to move you to fifth place for right now. Let's see that big fish. I saw it go in the bag. Nice fish. We'll hear about it. Be strong. Better in our Travis, we'll weigh her while we got her out, just so you know. Special fish, man, five pounds, nine ounces on your kicker. Man, congrats to you. Great to see you up here again, man. Fifth place right now, not gonna get the win, but uh, perhaps the top 10, man, great job. How do we get it done this week? Dragging a, a sniper jig by Beach Coast and then a Great Lakes uh, drop middle and just uh, moved around a bunch of places and, you know, yesterday hurt me. I, should have had 20 pounds like everybody else. Huge bag, man, on day one. Kind of set the, set the pace for you. How'd that go for you? How many keepers on day one? Was it just the five quality bites, or did you sort, sort through a bunch of keepers? I had six six good ones all day. Six good ones. All right, man, and the number one bait again, what was it? That was a drop, drop minnow. The drop minnow, man. Well, congrats to you. Great week. Great to see you. If you're not following him, follow him, man. He does a great job on all the social stuff there. So well, that's the way it goes. Tournament fishing. You know, that, that 15 pounds on day two. You know, just bad wind. It just didn't have enough time to adjust. I don't know what I would have done differently. Obviously, I probably went to went to that spot. But after doing so well there on day one, you almost have to. It's uh, it's unfortunate. I didn't need a whole lot. If I just would have had another 20-pound bag on day two, it would be a, a lot different story. But let's go through the baits here that I use for this event. So. Uh, the rods I was using, I was using the 7.3 St. Croix Legend Extreme. It's a medium light, and I was using that dragging some finesse baits. So I was using the uh, Power Bait Max Scent Little General, and I'm also dragging the Great Lakes Finesse Drop Minnow. Uh, what's cool about the Drop Minnow is I actually uh, designed this bait, and it is the perfect little finesse bait right there. A lot of great colors, uh, green pumpkins, straight black, this uh, this spicy melon has really been uh, putting some good fish in the boat uh, for us this, this summer. I use it quite a bit. You can drop shot this, Damiki rig it, you can throw it on a Ned head. I was using a Z-Man Nedlocks 
in a one sixth. And if I could get away with it, I, I prefer a one tenth size, even in that 20, 30, 40 foot range. But sometimes the wind and the conditions don't allow me to go that light. So the, uh, the one six size worked well. And then we also caught some fish. A lot of guys in this tournament caught them throwing football head jigs. The Beast Coast Open Water Sniper MB stands for Magic Bug. This is the Mothman, the Mothman color, which is basically black. And here's what that, that football head looks like. The Beast Coast Open Water Sniper Jig. There we go. Very few strands. The whole deal with this is to emphasize the, the trailer over the jig. No weed guard. BKK hooks. I love BKK hooks. Let me do that over. I love BKK hooks. Uh, super sharp. And this thing just catches them. And I like to pair that with a variety of different baits. Uh, a creature bait, Ned, or a hula grub, twin tail grub, things like that. That's a perfect pairing uh, for this. And when I'm throwing the football head, I really like the St. Croix uh, Legend Extreme, either the seven foot medium or the Legend X rods. Uh, that's what I've been using. I like lighter braids. So for the football head, I'm like 10. You can go up to 15 or even 20 if you prefer, but there's something about that smaller diameter. I use the uh, Cortland Master Braid, uh, 10 pound and high vis yellow quite a bit. And then I'll just put a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader on that. Uh, for my Ned Fishing, it's the same deal. Uh, five pound Cortland Master Braid, high vis yellow, but then I'll also go down to an eight pound fluorocarbon leader uh, for those applications when I'm, when I'm dragging uh, these finesse baits out there. So not the outcome I wanted, but you know it is what it is. Someday, hopefully I'll be able to win one of these events. I actually had another tournament uh, last week where uh, well, I won't tell you the outcome. You'll have to watch the video. We're going to try to get that one out. I got a, a few videos in the pipeline here for you guys. Don't, Don't forget to check out our lives every Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern with myself, co-host Epic Eric from the Bass Lab. We talk fishing. We talk everything, really. Sometimes it gets a little crazy in there, but uh, I encourage you guys to check that out. And then I also do a private, private little live stream once a month, and you can sign up on Fix TV. That link is going to be in the description below. It's, it's very reasonable. It's like $4.99 or something like that, $5.99. And we just kind of go into greater detail. Some of the stuff I wouldn't really talk about uh, openly. We'll talk to that more private group, if you will, during those lives. So definitely sign up for that. Help support the channel. Also, if you click on those links, take a look at these baits. If you buy from Tackle Warehouse at all, you can click on that main link. That's going to help the channel out, and it doesn't cost you anything. So we certainly appreciate that as well. So any purchases that you make, if you can go straight to uh, Tackle Warehouse link that's in the description before you make those purchases. And also, if Tackle Warehouse is sold out, of because these have been a hot bait lately, right? The Drop Minnow, uh, any of the, the finesse baits by Great Lakes Finesse, you can also check out the link, uh, lurenet.com. And I have a code in there to save you 15% off your orders through that. So go check it out. And I guess we'll try again next year in the uh, in the tournament. Listen, I, I was always a little concerned about Messina and making that long run. But it's not, it's not the worst thing. Hour 45, hour 50, two hours, whatever the case. If you're on fish and you're and I, I think four hours is enough time normally to get it done. There's a little more stress involved when you have a shorter fishing window and a lot of things can happen. I think I'm gonna fish more events out of Messina in the future. So I'm I'm good with it. I'm comfortable. I'm getting getting more comfortable with making those longer runs. That's not the longest run I've ever made in the tournament. I did make 120 mile once, one way, had a good outcome with that event but that was actually pre-youtube i think but that was up here on lake ontario uh that was out out of waddington to way way out on uh on lake ontario so i guess that's just part of it guys thanks for checking out the video let me know in the comments what you think and as always until next time we'll see you guys on the water